my substantive views about what constitutes good policy have not changed. With the benefit of hindsight, I have a very different view on the war in Iraq than I had uh, at the time that was launched. I recognized it as a big gamble and a difficult decision then. Um, uh, and so, you know, I was not confident it was the right thing to do, but I was a supporter. With the benefit of hindsight, I think you'd have to say that if we could take that back, we would, um, and that the world would probably overall be a lot safer today if uh, Saddam Hussein were still in power in Iraq and that old status quo, however ugly, um, were still being, you know, maintained in three yards in a pile of dust through the exercise of, uh, of U.S. power. Um, I think I gained an appreciation over time uh, for the importance of listening to one's critics and taking seriously what they say. Sometimes, I think a lot of times, maybe most of the time, um, people in politics and government have a bit of tunnel vision, particularly when they're surrounded by those who are like-minded and they don't have enough trust in people with differing views to kind of really invite them in and really listen to them. Um, and, and that's a big lesson that I drew from those years. And I think I'm very, very open to opposing views and opposing voices in weighty debates now um, in a way that I probably wouldn't have been, certainly not to the same extent back then. So that's a bit of hard-earned wisdom.